More than 200 years ago, Americans fought a revolution. A revolution against big government. He has erected a multitude of new offices and has sent hither swarms of officials to harass our people and eat out their substance. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ted Gunderson, former head of the FBI in Southern California. I retired in 1979. I furnished considerable information to B.J. Wagner. If you want the full story, you want to know what's going on, watch B.J. Wagner. Welcome to On Second Thought. I am Brianna Moore, co-hosting today. Thank you for joining us where William J. Wagner gives you reason to have second thoughts. And now for this booster of On Second Thought, the good guy in the white hat, William J. Wagner. Mr. Wagner, Mr. Wagner, where are you at? You're supposed to be here by now. Here we are again, another edition of On Second Thought. I am William Wagner, clipping on the mic. Mm. This is January and February. This is the time people file for office. And if you think there's a snake in office that needs to get out, if you think there's somebody where he doesn't belong, oh. I think that's one. Yeah, here's, here's a real live snake. Well, there's snakes all over the place, and it's time to get them out of office. Mm -hmm. And this is the filing time. I want to give you a look at somebody who I think was appointed in office, shouldn't even be in office. We need to get rid of these snakes. These snakes are dangerous to your civil liberties. So this is the time, mm -hmm. January and February. Go down to your city elections uh, office or your county and see Marlene and get the papers run for office. And here's a reason why. We'll take a look back at Roger Sanchez, and then I think it's uh, Sidley Garcia. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and uh, council members. I stand before you, I'm in support. I was in support of Chief Sterling staying on board this uh, city. But now in light of tonight's outcome, I'm here to tell you that I would like to have the general public the city of Santa Maria to call for the resignation or dismissal of Mr. Ness on the grounds that I alerted, on the grounds that I alerted this, on the grounds that I alerted this council four years ago during the All-American City event, sir, that Mr. Ness was engaged in the misuse of government what, facilities. No, wait a minute now. Uh, now Come I have on. proof. If you'd like, I can play the tape, sir. No. I am not going to let the man finish. Now, there's also if the you're not, if you're going public, if you're going public, to make accusations, public, it's not just listen, accusations, sir. No, you no, cannot. It's proof, and it is documented from the All American then, City event, Then you sir. take it. You take it to the police department. I can and will. You please do. But not only the misuse of the city facility, he was you were made aware that there was a misuse of public funds to Would, your travel there, center. My travel? I no, never no, no, went. No, 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 no. Your, Carlson Vogelin, your my travel what? center, which in, took care of the 51 delegates that went to Mobile, Alabama. Sir, it was if you have his any charges to make, then you make them to the proper that. authorities. I made all of you aware via email within 30 days of the all America City celebration sir, on McDonald's. you have charges that, that you think Mr. are supportable? Sir, uh, Please, if, if, if one party your throws time dirt for is the up. city, then so can the city members back at this gentleman. Okay. Well, sir, if you have charges that you think are supportable, you Would take you like them to, to the, the tape. No, I want you to take them to the proper authorities. Sir, uh, Danny, would you please take care of this gentleman? Folks, there you had it. That applause you heard at the end was not for the mayor. That was for Roger Sanchez. That that room, City Council of Santa Maria, was packed that night. And maybe we should go watch that again. You need to listen carefully. He's calling for the resignation of the city manager for using government city property illegally. Now, my question to you folks is, is this not election time? Is this not the time to hold Mayor Larry accountable for not investigating, for trying to cover up the truth, trying to hush Roger Sanchez up. Now, Roger Sanchez was grossly abused by someone who holds one of the highest jobs in Santa Maria, and your city council isn't going to do a thing about it. 
his marriage broke up as a result of what Roger Sanchez was talking about? He tried to play a telephone call from that city employee to his now ex-wife, and even then I think it was his ex-wife. And all this because the city manager fired a very popular police chief, John Sterling. And they wanted the city held accountable. Well, now, folks, now is the time to vote every single person on that city council who's up for re-election in 06. Vote them out. And, oh, by the way, there was assistant county district attorney who was downloading pornography and got caught while he was running for uh, judgeship in 02. It's time to hold the Santa Barbara District Attorney's Office accountable and get somebody clean in there and get all those rotten people downloading pornography on their work computer to get them out. Now, January and February is the time to call your elections office, call the elections office, Marlene at the county, for the county offices, at Santa Barbara County Elections Office, and for city office, you call the city clerk. Now's the time to file, get papers, Now's the time to hold them accountable. They need to be held accountable. John Sterling was apparently held accountable for whatever infraction he did. But the city hasn't been held accountable. Now's the time. Did you miss that? Brianna, should we go back and watch that little clip? This, is an, this was actually on the air three years ago. Should we watch that again? I think so, yeah. Brianna's beautiful and she wants to hear it again. Okay, let's watch that tape. Listen carefully as they try to shut him up. And oh, by the way, it was after Ron, Roger Sanchez has said this, that's when Mayor Larry installed a cutoff button where he can cut off your audio at the podium so nobody on TV land can hear what you're saying. I think your time is up, Mayor Larry. Roger Sanchez. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and uh, council members. I stand before you, I'm in support. I was in support of Chief Sterling staying on board this uh, city. But now, in light of tonight's outcome, I'm here to tell you that I would like to have the general public, the city of Santa Maria, to call for the resignation or dismissal of Mr. Ness on the grounds that I alerted, on the grounds that I alerted this, on the grounds that I alerted this council four years ago during the All-America City event, sir, that Mr. Ness was engaged in the misuse of government what? facilities. No, wait a minute now. Uh, now Come I have on. proof. If you'd like, I can play the tape, sir. No, uh, I am not going to let the man finish. Now, there's also... If the you're, not, if you're going, public, if you're going public, to make accusations... Public, it's not just listen. accusations, sir. No, you no, cannot. It's proof, and it is documented from the All-American City Then events, you sir. take it, you take it to the police department. I can and will. You please do. But not only the misuse of the city facility, he was, you were made aware that there was a misuse of public funds to Would your travel there, center, care of the 51 delegates that went to Mobile, Alabama. Uh, sir, it was his if you have his any charges to make, then you make them to the proper that. authorities. I made all of you aware via email within 30 days of the All-America City celebration sir, on McDonald's. Sir, you have charges that, that correct, you think Mr. are supportable, uh, please, if, if, if one party your can time throw dirt is for the up. city, then so can the city members back at this gentleman. Okay, well, sir, if you have charges that you think are supportable, you Would take you like them to, to the, the tape. No, I want you to take them to the proper authorities, sir. Uh, Danny, would you please take care of this gentleman? behind Roger without a hat? Yes, I did see you there. Yeah, I was paying attention, Brianna, and it's time for you to pay attention. Mayor Larry, Councilman Bob, Councilman Alice Patina, Marty Mariscal, Leo Tahil, it's time for you, people. Your time is up. Those of you for re-election, you ought not to re-election, you ought to resign now in disgrace. And those of you who are not up for re-election in the City Council, nothing has been done. Now, Roger was told to take him to the police. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you think the police, who can also be fired by the same manager that got rid of the chief of police, do you think they're going to arrest the city manager for illegal use of property? Not if they, have, if they don't have enough evidence on him, then they're just going to sit back and say, I'm not touching this. You yeah. do it. Even if they have evidence, uh, it's interesting 
how that tape couldn't be played. And it was after that day at City Chambers, Mayor Larry had a cutoff switch so he can cut your audio off so nobody can hear what you're saying if he doesn't like what you're saying. Oh, freedom of speech, Mayor Larry. Don't we have a lot of it here? I think it's time for Mayor Larry to get off. But if you people want to keep corrupt people in office who keep other corrupt people in office, then you'll get the corrupt results. What can I say? Please help us make this a better place. Please help us make this a better place. Please help us. Please help us. Install the injection system to inject this hydroposolytic salicylic acid into our spiny lupus. That little extra toxin in your water could kill it. Uh, John Muscle, a former mayor's son, is fighting cancer. He's been fighting for nine years. That little bit of extra toxic waste in his drinking water could kill him. So I'm not talking, I'm not speaking for myself, I'm speaking for the 4,500 people that signed that, those petitions. You have, you give no choice. You just are so adamant about putting this toxic waste in our water. You won't listen to us. We have no choice but to try to recall you and get someone up there that won't put toxic waste in our water. I'm sorry, but you have no choice. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. First Amendment. It looks like Glenn Pat. And on behalf of the city of Santa Maria, I serve notice of recall to Marty Pascal. Mm -hmm. okay. I serve uh, Alice Patino. And, uh, I, I wanted to put into that uh, there's a whole bunch of things about fluoride, like children under two years old should never drink it at all, not even at the one part per million. And, uh, and you know that all the, all the cities in California that have said no, there's no, uh, no repercussion to the city government to say no. You know that. Thank you very much. Yes, I am here tonight to deliver the serving of the paper for the recall for Leo Chorio. Chorio, I'm here against the fraud in the water. You people have not listened to the common people. The only thing you've listened to people who have money and power and left this out. So much confusion going on. But really, is there any way of resolving the ills of today? Please help us make this a better place. Please help us make this a better place. And hear the word. We are the voice of the people, the public at large. And we're crying out, where is the justice of mankind? I cannot stop these crimes. Allegations galore of people always wanting more. Please help us make this a better place. Please help us make this a better place. Please help us make this a better place. I'm happy to be in your living room again. I think we got a great show, one that you won't find on ABC, NBC, CBS, or the big C media. We try to have you have second thoughts about what you thought you knew was true. And I'm William Wagner, the host and the producer. Glad to have you aboard. Club at Pioneer Valley High School. Oh, good, and who do we have here with us? Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Let's talk to them right now. They're here with us in the studio. Welcome, Mr. Flores from Pioneer Valley High School. I'm William Wagner. You are yours. Mr. Flores, welcome to On Second Thought, Mr. Flores. Thank you. You are a science school teacher at the new Pioneer Valley High School. Is that right? Yes, I am. How long have you been teaching science? Uh, it's about my 24th year. 24 years. Some of these kids aren't that old. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> and... What made you decide you wanted to have a science trekkers club? Well, I was working with a colleague of mine, uh, Karen Wen, who's with us at this moment, and uh, we were talking about wanting to take kids actually into the field so they could experience science firsthand. Okay, and we have some with us. And who do we have here? Uh, we have with us Francis Contreras. My name is Francis Contreras, and I'm a sophomore at Pioneer Valley High School here in Santa Maria. And are you liking science trekkers club? Yes, it has it helped me to to see science in a different way that I had okay. never saw it before. 
Very good. And who do we have next? Hi, my name is Richie Bataya. I'm a freshman at Pioneer Valley High School. Are you sure you're a freshman? Yes. Sure you didn't sneak in from eighth grade? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and behind you, we have another school teacher. Hi, I'm Karen Wynn, science teacher, Pioneer Valley High School. And next to Karen, we have... Hi, I'm Yana Isabel Harvasho, 